Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a map animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's take a look at the preview and get started. If you haven't subscribed already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you found it helpful. Now that's out of the way, we can get started with the video. We're going to start off by dragging in our map image. Uh, so I'm going to be using this image for this uh, video. And if we take a look at this image, this is an old historical map of Japan. Put the link in the description if you want to download the same map. But as you can see, the size of this file is quite huge. Let's, uh, after this media in one, let's add in a crop crop node. Click on add. Uh, we won't be using this uh, big picture uh, as it will slow down our animation. So by adding the crop node, we can just resize this image. Right, so once you add the crop node, then inside the inspector, uh, you can see this option. Click on keep centered, and then you will notice that uh, your image will be visible. And then if you think you you need uh, more room in your image, more breathing space, then you can uh, start changing the X size and the Y size right over here. Cool, now once you have that, then after the crop one, we can add in our image plane 3D. Click on add. And this will take our image and turn it into take this into a 3d environment like this now what we can do is again go to the media pool and drag in another image this time we will drag in this ship image that i got from freepick.com again the link will be in the description if you want to use the same image uh, but you can use any asset that you want instead you can use a car or in an airplane or anything that you want let's also rename these uh to i'm going to rename this to map and this one will be our ship all right so again after this we're going to add in a crop node like so we have this and again i'm going to click on keep centered and then change the x size and the y size so just make sure you don't crop it too much so after the crop node again i'm going to add in a image plane 3d take it into a 3d environment like this great so let's combine these two together Let's connect this image plane 3D like so. This will result in Merge 3D. If you take a look at it, you can see both of our images uh, at once. Then what we can do is in the image plane 3D of the map, we can go to transform and change the X rotation. I'm going to set this to negative 90 like so. And then go to image plane 3D of the ship and go to transform. And the first thing we'll do is change the pivot point. So let's just change the pivot Y, just bring it at the bottom of this shape. And then we can scale it down like so and just move it up on the Y axis like so. And we can further scale it down if we need to do so. Right, great. So let's just rotate around. I'm holding the Alt key and rotating around like so. Hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button to do it. So this is how our scene looks right now. Great. So now what we can do is uh, we can start adding our camera into the scene. So in this Merge 3D, click on it and issue spacebar and type in Camera 3D. Click on Add. Click on Merge 3D and type in Renderer 3D. Click on Add. Now let's uh, take a look at this Renderer 3D. You will see it's empty. And that's because we need to go to our Camera 3D over here. Go to Transform and just uh, change the Z position like so. Now. We're able to see the ship, but we are not able to see the map. And that is because uh, our camera is uh, in a different angle. Uh, right now, our image plane 3D, uh, the rotation is, the X rotation is 90 degree. And you can see there is a thin line over here. If I maybe change this, uh, disable the check on delay, you can see there is a small line going through. Uh, that is our map. But uh, instead of changing the X rotation like so, uh, to see our map what we can do is we can instead uh, play around with the camera angle so what i can do is go to camera 3d and i'm going to click on use target i really like this option it really helps with creating more cooler camera uh, angles or an animations uh, so i'm going to click on that and then change the camera angle like so you can see that both of our uh, both the assets the map and the ship changes uh, their orientation you can see something like that and i can just zoom in and uh, create any cool 
camera angle into this so maybe something like that we like this and uh, you know just play around with different uh position and create up uh, create a cool camera angle right maybe something like that and then i'm going to go back to the image plane 3d of the ship over here and change the scale i think that it is too big i'm also going to change the y rotation set this to 180 so it uh, looks to the other way and then we can just uh, simply change the x position and just bring it anywhere that we want uh, maybe you can start somewhere over here and if you try and change the y you can see that it if you just move it to the left it can go down under the map um, and in order to fix this what we can do is it's better if we go to the merge 3d and look at this uh, map and the picture and the ship over here just rotate around and just see that just make sure that they are closer the ship is closer to the map make sure it touches the map over here so i'm going to go to image plane 3d of the ship and i'm going to use these controls over here or you can just select them in the inspector whichever way you prefer and just make sure that it is closer to the map like so and just rotate around maybe you can push it back to the in the z space as well you know just pick any location that you, that you want your ship to be great so uh let's take a look at this central 3d this is what we have you can also uh, go ahead and uh, change the rotation y and you can change the uh, other rotation values as well if you want to do so uh, but i think that looks great for now uh, so what we can do is we can start animating All right so let's first animate the ship so again in the image plane 3d uh, make sure you are in the translation i'm going to right click and click on um, animate translate group but I need to make sure that i am at the very first frame currently i am at the frame number four so let's make sure that we are at the very first frame which is frame zero now you can go under translation right click click on animate translate group then click on this icon it will take you to the last frame and then you can start changing the position of your ship so maybe you want to move it right over here i want a really slow animation i don't want the ship to move too fast so let's just move it somewhere over here and if you want to move it down uh maybe at this coast over here you can see that if i change the y position it just goes under the map which we don't want so let's just undo this and i instead i'm going to use the merge uh, 3d let's view this and i'm going to use that to control the position right so instead of y i should have used the z axis over here so let's take a look at it just move it forward maybe some way over here right I, I think the scale of this ship is too big so maybe i'm going to make it uh, smaller like so so yeah there you have it our ship is moving from point a to point b now let's add in a camera animation so let's click on camera 3d and make sure you are at the very first frame right click under translation click on animate translate group go to the last frame and you can start playing around with the different camera uh, angles so maybe you can just create a simple zoom in animation and probably a rotation animation as well maybe you can just you know pan your camera down like so so yeah, there you go you have a really simple and subtle animation and it really looks cool looks really cinematic in my opinion uh, but yeah you're free to play around with different camera angles what i'm going to do next is i'm going to copy these two nodes the ship and the crop two node Control c and copy down below i'm basically trying to create a, a shadow for this ship so after this crop tool let's view this uh, i'm going to add in a cc which is color corrector add it and let's change the brightness and bring it down to zero uh, you won't be able to see anything and that's because our we have disabled our shaker underlay let's enable that and let's uh, after this color corrector node add in a blur click on add and let's just move it over here and let's take a look at this blur node and i'm going to just blur it up a little bit maybe around seven or eight um and that should do the trick uh now what i can do is i can copy this image plane and i'm going to copy and paste it as an instance so hit Control c to copy and Control shift v to paste it as an instance then i can connect this blur to this instance and make sure that you connect the instance plane 3d to the merge 3d 
now let's take a look at our render 3d you can see we have this instance 3d over here the play instance plane 3d now i'm going to select that and go to material and i'm going to right click click on the instance color group and i'm going to also de instance the diffuse group so let's just uh, turn down all these values for uh, red green and blue and also the opacity around let's keep it around 7 0 0.7 then under transform we can de instance the rotation group right click under rotation click on the instance rotate group and then you can just change the x rotation like so and just create a shadow like this great so now if you take a look at this animation we have our shadow and the ship moving having the same animation great now uh, what you can do is you can also create a create sort of a wobble effect on this ship so if i you have this image plane 3d you can see that it right now the animation is pretty linear so you can see that it just goes from point a to point b but you can spice this up a little bit if we just uh, you know select the image plane 3d the corresponding image plane 3d and we can start creating a wobble animation on our uh, z rotation z so i'm going to right click on it and click on uh, modify with and click on perturb go to modifiers and just increase the strength and you'll see that we have a nice uh, kind of ship uh, sailing motion like so right uh, as you can see it's uh, working pretty fine now uh, you can do the same thing with your other uh, image instance 3d so image plane 3d so i'm going to do this on the x or or maybe we can do this on the y itself so under y rotation right click click on modify with perturb modifiers and just increase the strength to 10 so let's take a look at it this is our overall animation we have the zoom in animation on the map and then we have the ship animating at itself uh, great so after this render 3d you can add as as many effects as you want so for example you can add in a color corrector and you can just you know increase the uh, saturation and increase the overall look of the uh, animation over here but that's completely your choice you are free to do whatever you want uh, but i guess that is pretty much it you can just uh, go ahead and connect this up with the media out and there you have your animation uh, so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you didn't then just make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one